Hey there, I hope you all doing well on this beautiful Sunday morning. One of the things that we like to do here at Southern Impression Homes and Suncoast Property Management is pass along any great ideas that we've used in our own personal portfolio to all of our clients to make sure that you guys are getting the same benefits out of your real estate investments as we are out of ours. So recently, uh, we've been going through and doing a cost segregation study on all of the properties that we hold in our portfolio. And as we did that, our CFO, Leslie Adamson, decided that she would negotiate pricing for all of our clients for the various types of properties that we sell, single family homes, duplex and quadruplex, so that our clients can go to the same cost segregation specialist that we use and get the same pricing that we get. So what I'd like to do today is I'm going to show you what this looks like, and I'm going to explain to you how we're using cost segregation and how you can use it in your own portfolio. Give me a second. I just got to share my screen here. Okay. So you can see my screen over here. And, you know, what, what we've got is, you know, just the pricing breakdown of, of what the uh, third party cost segregation company charges us for each of these cost segregations. But really what's important is to understand exactly what they're doing. So we all know that there's a depreciation benefit in real estate. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can accelerate that benefit by using cost segregation, which is basically taking the various aspects of your home and breaking them down into their parts, some of which the IRS will let you accelerate depreciation on faster than others. So if you just do a straight depreciation method, then you will just take the purchase price of your home, minus the land value, which is typically about 10%, or that's what, what most people go off of. And you divide that number by 27 and a half. And that tells you how much depreciation you get each year. And then, you know, a portion of that obviously goes to reduce your tax bill. So I'm just going to do a quick calculation for you over here so you can see how it works. So let's take our, one of our duplexes. So let's take a duplex that's $300,000. So if you take a $300,000 purchase price, and you assume that 10% of that purchase price is land, which the IRS will not let you depreciate. So you take that times 0.9, you get to $270,000 of depreciable asset. If you take that number and divide it by 27 and a half years, you get to depreciate $9,818 a year, which is great. And assume you're at a 37% uh, tax bracket, take that number times 0.37, that's your savings every year. So you save $3,600 in real cash off of your tax bill every year because of your ownership in real estate. So let's go ahead and take that same house and we're gonna start this formula all over again, but we're gonna assume that, uh, that we use cost segregation, which will typically allow you to get somewhere in the range of 25% So let's go back and we take that same $300,000 duplex. And again, you, you don't get to depreciate the land. So times 0.9. So you get the same depreciable value of $270,000. Now, instead of only taking depreciation on 27 and a half years, assume you get to take 25% of that year one. So you multiply that number times 0.25. So now you're getting to depreciate $67,500 as opposed to the 9,800 under a, under a straight, uh, straight line depreciation schedule. So again, if you are in a 37% tax bracket, you take that number times 0.37. So you're now saving 24, 000, almost $25,000 in your first year of ownership of this property as opposed to uh, what was the number before? It was uh, $3,600. So huge difference. Obviously you're getting, you know, you're getting $21,000 of additional cash. That is, that is money that you do not have to pay to the IRS this year because of your ownership in this real estate asset. So again, when you look at that same duplex at $300,000, assume that you put a 25% down payment when you purchased that property, so now you're down, you know, you have a $75,000 down payment. You're getting $25,000 of that down payment back in year one from the IRS. 
So when you run your cash on cash calculations, if you account for depreciation in year one, your, your down payment really went from 75,000 to 50,000 in that year one. Anyway, just want to make sure everybody understood that. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to any of us here at Southern Impression Homes or Suncoast Property Management. Have a great day.